Hello, and today I'll be covering how to use CCIP bombing in the A-10 Warthog. There are three ways of bombing in the A-10 using CCIP. Now, first of all, CCIP stands for Constant Computed Impact Point. The first way is the manual release method, and I will now cut to a picture of the HUD, and I will explain that. Just one note before uh, we do uh, have a look at manual release. Uh, we need to make sure that the uh, HUD here has DTS on this point here. If it has any numbers written on it, it can be a problem. To uh, to fix this, what we can do, if it's on numbers, it'll look like this. If it's like this, it means that the uh, CCIP bomb pipper will use the waypoints altitude rather than the altitude of the uh, GPS coordinates which you're looking at. So, to fix this we click the data then we click select and it will uh, change to DTS. This just means now it's using the GPS coordinates. To select your CCIP bombs there are two methods of doing it. The first method uh, is going down and looking at the left MFD and clicking the DSMS page and then manually selecting the bombs you would like to use like so. So those I have now selected two Mark 82's and the mode, the HUD mode will automatically be in CCIP for those. If it, just to check, what you can do is you can hit M for HUD master mode or the master mode switch and it will change through the HUD master mode and we want to go to CCIP, so now the HUD is on CCIP. Exactly what we want. The other way of doing it is to make the HUD soy by clicking U or coolie hat up and the HUD is represented as soy by this asterisk which is shown right here. And now what we want to do is use DMS left and right but we uh, use our master mode switch M or the one on your joystick if you've assigned it to select CCIP and then we use left and right to select a profile so there's Mark 82 and Mark 82 there so we've got two different types and uh, one is as you can see when I select through them one is the one with four and one is the one with two so we're going to select the four one right now what we also might want to do is uh, what we also might want to do is allow it so that two bombs can release at the same time to increase the uh, likelihood of hitting the target we can do this by hitting the profile once we've got the uh, Mark 82 selected we check this is on Mark 82 so we can move this up and down check it's on Mark 82 then we click view profile and here is where we want to select it single means SGL means single this means one bomb will drop now when you press the pipper N slash T means nose tail fusing so there's two types of fusing to make the bomb detonate there's a nose fuse and a tail fuse we're gonna have it on both the mode for this bomb the, uh, the uh, default mode for this bomb is CCIP now the thing we're gonna change is this here we can either change it to PRS which means pairs which means two bombs will uh, come off the uh, rack when we uh, two bombs will come off the rack when we press the weapon release or we can hit ripple single and what this means is it will uh, fire any number of bombs that you choose off the rack with a given spacing and it's one thing to note you will need to hold the pipper until all of you uh, hold the weapon release until all of your bombs have gone off the rail so uh, what we can do is uh, there's also ripple pairs which will drop a certain number of pairs of bombs but we're going to be concerned with ripple single and we want a very small spacing so we can do that by typing in 10 now if you make a mistake and we put like this it will give you a CICU input error just to get rid of that you just click the CLR button here for clear so we're going to type in 10 and then we're going to click 
this button here which is right next to the uh, the feet which is the uh, spacing so now we're going to have it so two bombs drop 10 feet apart or they'll impact 10 feet apart now the ripple quantity is going to be two because we want two bombs so we're going to click that and you can have any number provided you have enough bombs to do so so now we've set that we're going to click the save and we can click stat to go back to our DSMS so now we're just outside the target we're going to roll in and we're going to reveal what's uh, going to be on our HUD when we roll in and if we take a look first thing we want to take a look at is this um, this line here is the bomb pull line and it's dashed because we don't have a firing solution on the HUD at the moment this here is the uh, wind corrected gun cross so just in case you need to uh, fire uh, this here is the minimum range staple so this will slowly move down towards the uh, uh, reticule until um, you're at the minimum range and you'll be in the uh, blast zone and uh, if we now unpause and dive even further so we can see where the bomb's going to impact uh, we'll just have to give it a moment right so now we've uh, got it so we've got the uh, a bomb full position on the screen. Now uh, there's two things we need to take a note of here. This large circle represent it is called the reticule. The small dot in the center is the pippa. The solid line is the bomb full line and the staple is the minimum range staple. When this staple gets inside the reticule we'll get a cross appearing telling us that we're likely to be in the blast radius of the bomb. Um, although if you're turning off sharply after your uh, pass or pulling up after you drop the bombs then you should be okay. Now in this mode it's very simple you just put this dot over the target and you hold the weapon release. Clicking the weapon release if you've got a bomb set to uh, ripple like we have um, you may only drop one bomb and it will say launch aborted here okay so we're going to unpause it now and uh, I will show you uh, what happens when we take a look at when we uh, drop a bomb so so now we've got that cross appearing and we're going to hold the weapon Pull release up. higher on and go off to the right here and there you go, you see it hit the target. Right, now we're going to switch to a different mode, which is the 3 slash 9 mode for dropping CCIP bombs. Okay, so now we're in an orbit, and we're going to switch to 3 slash 9 mode for dropping CCIP bombs. This can be done by clicking the right clicking the IFFCC switch for the HUD, and it will change the HUD to this we're just changing it to test mode and it will change it to this and we can see that this is already selected CCIP consent opt off this means we're in man manual release mode um, you can select up and down using the select rocker key and if you want to change this to 3 slash 9 mode we can do that by clicking up on the data once so now we're in 3 slash 9 mode we're going to left click this to put it back up to normal HUD mode and there we go. Now what 3 slash 9 mode actually is, uh, it's exactly the same as uh, manual release mode, it's just the uh, the um, bomb has to be, uh, the, the path has to be in certain parameters in order for you to be able to drop the bomb. So I'll show you the uh, HUD symbology in a minute. Okay, now we're in, uh, now we can see that we're looking at the target and we've got some different uh, things being displayed on our HUD, some different symbology. This dotted line is still the bomb fall line and this is still the pipper and this circle here is still the reticule. The main difference being this isn't actually where the bomb is going to land this is a designation. So what you do with uh, 3 slash 9 mode is you will put this pipper over the target and then you will 
uh, guide the bomb onto the target with some different symbology, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the reason this is called 3 slash 9 mode is because what will happen is a solution queue will move down this bomb fall line and the bomb will release on the 3 slash 9 line which is the 3 o'clock position here and the 9 o'clock and a line drawn between them. Okay, so we'll have a look at that symbology now. Okay, now we can see what's uh, happening here. So, we've, we're now holding the weapon release to get this to show. Um, what we have here is uh, in this just this number here is the predicted time till impact once the bomb comes off the rail. This is the predicted time until release, and this also this tiny circle with the dot is also the uh, uh, solution queue. This is still the minimum range staple. This is still the reticule, and this dot, which is slightly hidden by a bomb fall line, is the pipa still. Now in the three slash nine line. Uh, three, yeah, three slash nine uh, consent release mode. This uh, pepper will uh, this uh, consent this solution queue will move down the bomb fall line and into this, provided you are flying it correctly. If the uh, pepper is to the right of the bomb fall line, you, then you need to roll the aircraft to the left to get it onto the bomb fall line. And you, and if it's to the left, you need to roll the aircraft to the right, and you will need to um, keep the pipa on the bomb fall line until this moves through through the three nine line. So I will, and at which point the um, aircraft will drop the bomb, and you will not let go of the weapon release until all of the bombs have come off the uh, racks. So we're going to try that right now, and. Uh, We'll see how it goes. So we've got to try and keep the pipper on the line, and as you can see, the reticule is coming down. So we're just rolling the aircraft, and as it goes through the 3-9 line, the aircraft releases the bombs. And as you can see, we got a uh, direct hit. The main advantage of the 3-9 uh, line mode of uh, dropping a CCIP bomb is that it allows you to pull off of the attack before you've released your bombs. Provided you hold the um, pipper, uh, hold the weapon release, uh, and you pull up straight, keeping the uh, pipper on the bomb fall line, the bombs will release automatically, and you will be pulling away from the target as your bombs release meaning you can avoid fire more easily. Now we're going to switch to the 5 mil mode of dropping CCIP bombs in the same method. So I'll show you that now. We'll just put the uh, aircraft into autopilot. Like so. We still go down to the IFFCC and you right click it to put it in test mode. We're going to look at the HUD and we're going to use the data mode to put it in 5 mil mode. And we're going to go look da back down at this and left click it to put it back into HUD mode. And I'll cut to uh, when I'm on a bombing run for the 5mm uh, mode. Okay, we're rolling into our target now. Uh, just a word of advice that I've uh, found. Um, the higher angle the attack is and the further away it's done from will result in a better result. <laughs> will result in a better result. Uh, <laughs> being more accurate. So we're going to point the aircraft down as you can see again we're just going to pause pause the game quickly we can see the same symbology as we did with the 3 slash 9 mode and that's because it's exactly the same so this is still the bomb fall line this is still the pipa this circle is still the reticule this is the minimum range staple this is the estimated time once the bomb has released to impact and now we're going to click and hold the weapon release again uh, and so we'll just unpause it quickly on the target, so we just need to point this on the target, like so, and we're going to pause it, and it's exactly the same. So we're going to the pipper is currently hidden behind the bomb fall line, but we're going to try and keep that pipper on the bomb fall line as this uh, solution queue falls through the uh, three slash nine line. Now, um, the main difference between five mil and three slash nine mil 
is uh, three slash nine mode is that the uh, solution queue in three slash nine mode only has to go inside this circle to allow the bombs to release, whereas in five mil mode the uh, solution queue has to pass over the pippa. If it doesn't pass over the pippa, it will give you a it will give you a um, launch aborted. So now we're going to uh, fly the bomb onto the target, and uh, we'll see if we hit it. So we're going to guide it, and there we go. The bombs are off the rail, and there we go. There's a splash, and we completely missed the target. But as you see, um, uh, as you see that the uh, the five mil mode will allow you to be more accurate with your bombing, um, as it has uh, tighter constraints for uh, releasing the bombs. And as I said, with three slash nine, you can also pull off your attack in five mil mode earlier than when the bombs are released, then they will automatically release. Just to emphasize it again, remember when you're doing this, you have to be holding the weapon release right from when you uh, designate the target right till the bomb releases. And this concludes the uh, CCIP bombing tutorial, and I hope this helps. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.